you know, I think with luck, I would hope my photographs have something about me and my sense of the world and our place in it and color, you know, and all those formal things that, but at the same time, the photograph is still, still a, a factual record. I had been photographing around North America, photographing landscapes, and I was interested in how the built environment had an impact and created kind of a tension with the natural world. And um, so th that was something I had been doing, and I think I got somewhat um, used to the North American environment. It it's been well photographed, and um, you know, I felt I, I wanted another sort of um, milieu to photograph within another place and and I thought of Europe and in the summer of 1994 I read about the uh, condition of the the Chernobyl zone in a magazine article it sounded very interesting to me and later within a few months I was able to meet all the people or get connected with all the people that were able to get me into this place which you know, it was a bit of a challenge, but I didn't intend to return. I, I just didn't know what I'd be able to do or what I'd be able to, to photograph. But uh, I stayed for five days and it was very interesting and I felt I'd hardly seen anything after five days. So I decided to return the next year thinking maybe that would be it, but I've since gone uh, 18 times and it's been, uh, it never ceases to be interesting. I would hope that the photographs that, that I'm doing, that I'm interested in, sort of transcend the, the subject itself, that they somehow are more interesting than the subject. I could encourage people to spend time and not necessarily think too much about the history of the place, but just see the photographs and let them work for you.